Hang Seng Index is doing well, isn't it? In fact, it has broken out of a five month pattern. All right, in this video, I explain what I mean by this five month pattern. And this is not the first time that I'm talking about Hang Seng Index. In fact, that the previous video that I mentioned Hang Seng Index, I was explaining how to use the higher high and higher low to spot for a reversal. And yes, indeed, today we have a confirmed reversal of Hang Seng Index. In fact, from the weekly chart point of view, and I see this as a very positive sign. In this video, I will talk about what I'm seeing in Hang Seng Index and then what are the instruments that you might want to use to trade into Hang Seng Index. Before going to Hang Seng Index, I want to mention about this pattern here, which is inverted here and show the pattern. It's, it's a quite a common pattern. One thing is that a lot of people always ask me, you know, where do you use this pattern on which time frame? Uh, I always say that the longer the time frame, the better it will be. Why is that so? Let's talk about the pattern first, right? The pattern will appear after a series of downtrend and when price stop making a new low. So for example, this was a low that's lower than the previous low and here price stopped making a new low so it's making a higher low as compared to the previous low right and of course then um, you look at the two highs here these are to me the high point that price needs to break above and if price can close above these two high points then the completion of an inverted head and shoulder which is this pattern right now here would be completed that means that price would needs to close above what we call a neck line okay. so one of the common questions that's always asked was that you know when we use this pattern on it's can i use it on a five minute time frame or can i use it on a uh, weekly or daily time frame the key to an inverted hand and shoulder pattern lies in the duration and this is also the reason why a lot of students ask me when can they use this pattern in which time frame whether they are able to use this in a let's say a mini chart or in a hourly or in fact in a daily chart the whole idea is that the longer duration the better the outcome now imagine that this is a pattern that's over a period of three months right versus where this pattern is over a period of three weeks okay so if there are a certain amount of money that's been accumulated during this consolidation pattern right, then you probably have a lot more money that's being changed hands in a period of three months than versus a period of three weeks so in this case yeah, the longer the duration of this pattern the better the outcome so of course we will need for price to break above the neckline here now when we look at this it means that when an inverted head and shoulder pattern happen then implication would be the previous prior downtrend it's right now in reversing and price must, might be heading up after the completion of this pattern here now with the understanding of this pattern let's head to what we are seeing here in Hang Seng index have you clicked the subscribe button and how about a like? Now this is Hang Seng Index. This is a daily chart. And uh, what we are seeing is uh, the movement from early Jan 2023 all the way until this price movement here. Now it's probably easier to switch that into a line chart and you find that the Hang Seng has been moving in a downward manner. That means that it's moving in a downtrend with a lower high and as well as a lower low. So each of the low is higher than the previous low and each of the highs is actually lower than the previous high. So this is what I mean by a lower high and a lower low pattern, which is in a way very clear it is a downtrend however are we seeing any reversal here i think so because this looks like an inverted head and shoulder pattern with a break that's just happened okay so what i did is that i drew in the neckline which i think is probably easier to visualize that from a candlestick point of view as that this blue line here will be the neckline previously in my earlier video i mentioned that Hang Seng would see a support at 16,200. So this was that support that I've mentioned from this zone here. So we saw that Hang Seng was at various times being supported at 16,200. And finally today, it broke and it closed higher. So one of the tips, right, that's to know that this is a valid breakout is to know of the duration. The duration of this breakout in terms of time frame is that I think we are going to have a weekly close. It's very important because Hang Seng for a long time already hasn't seen a valid weekly close. And this time right now, I think we should see a weekly close which is uh, to me positive for Hang Seng 
Okay. Now, at the point of recording today is Friday, 3.42. Uh, Hang Seng will be closing in just a few minutes' time. And I think that a very high chance that we should have a weekly candle close. Now, implication of a weekly candle close is that the inverted head and shoulder pattern that we are seeing here, which I want to draw this again. This is the inverted head and shoulder pattern. It's finally breaking out and finally has a confirmed breakout, which is, I see that as a bullish uh, point here. Now that we know that Hang Seng is reversing and is showing an inverted hand shoulder pattern. However, one thing to caution is that the long term trend of Hang Seng is still down. I'm talking about the trend of Hang Seng for the past three to four years. In this case, uh, if you are looking for investment, then again, due diligence. What I like to share for consideration is to trade into DLCs. Today, let's take a look into UBS DLC, where DLC stands for Daily Leverage Certificates. And let's head to UBS DLC to see what are the options available. This is UBS DLC website. Once you get there, you better find that you have the underlying. This means that you can buy a DLCs on the underlying. And there are two types of DLCs. There would be the daily long DLCs, which means that if you buy it, then you are bullish about the future view of the, this particular underlying. Or daily short means that if you buy a daily short, then you are bearish of the underlying. Okay, so let's take a look at Hang Seng Index. Right? I just want to trade a Hang Seng Index DLCs. And because it has broken out of an inverted head and shoulder pattern, then I will choose the daily law. I just keep the leverage factors as it is right now to search for the relevant DLCs. Okay, so there are all these DLCs that's available. It's good to take a look at the one with this uh, uh, red symbol here because this refers to the uh, DLCs that require the least amount of underlying asset change for the DLCs to move by one tick with the same underlying asset. Well, this means that you know this DLC is more sensitive to the underlying. Uh, in other words, right, if you look at the sensitivity here, then the DLCs for this long DLCs requires a 27 points of Hang Seng to move one tick of the DLCs or the other one which is MEAW requires a movement of 11.6 points in the Hang Seng to move by one tick of that DLCs. Okay, so in fact that uh, MEAW will be more sensitive. Right, always look for those which are a lot more sensitive. All right, so I won't be considering this one here because then it takes about 1,229 points of the Hang Seng to move one tick of the DLCs. Although I presented quite a bullish view on Hang Seng, I want to caution that trading or investing is high risk. You need to look into whether this trade or this instrument is suitable for you. Now, my own calculation is that the short term price target of Hang Seng is around 18,500. So this is based on the technical level. And of course, I hope that you will move to this level here. And uh, if it does, I will update with another video. If you like today's video, please remember to give a thumbs up as well as a subscribe to the channel because I'll be talking a lot into trading, especially in the future to move more into the US stocks. I see you in my next video.